in Art Classes for Kids and with Lily. So we are continuing our daily art lessons. Uh, we've been doing them now for two weeks. I can't even believe we have been hunkered down in this house for two weeks. Can you believe it? <laughs> Hello, Lily. Are you tired of being at home? No? Okay. So we're making these videos for you every day and we started out live streaming them. But now we're gonna be making them a little bit ahead of time and posting them daily so that you can get them a little earlier and you can also pause them whenever you like. And the people on the East Coast can get to see them earlier than late at night. So let's tell you about today. Today we are gonna do a painting on canvas. We're gonna be doing a cupcake painting. And who's it inspired by, Lily? It is inspired by Wade Tebow. And tell us, a little bit about Wade Tebow. Wade Tebow. What is he known uh, for? He is known for his desserts and, and cakes. And cakes. It's part of desserts, right? Cakes. Yeah, desserts. but he mostly did cakes out of yeah. all his desserts. He did a lot of other things too. Yes, he but did like objects like shoes, and he recently I got ball machines. And he recently has an exhibit out right now, and with his famous cloud painting. So we today are going to do something like this. This is an example from one of my classes and this is an example of the real Wayne Tebow cupcake painting. It's a printout of his painting, yes. Yes. So what we're going to do is make sure you guys have all the supplies you need to get this painting going, okay? So the What's supplies the that you'll need are some acrylic paints. These are acrylic craft paints. And these are really inexpensive, and we use these a lot with kids. But if you have the kind of acrylic paints that come in a tube, um, you want to you want to use those. Those have a, are thicker, and they have more texture, like a Wayne Tebow painting would have. What else? Yeah, or uh, for the to get texture like this, you can use puffy paint or or you can have a little glue, glue in your paint to make it look thicker. Yeah. And what else do they so need? So you'll also need some paper plates for paint palettes. Sure, but I'll take one here. If you don't have paper plates, uh, these are if just you have easy like clean ceramic up. paper, if you have ceramic plates, what else could they use? They could use just a plastic lid from an old container that's yeah. in recycling, if you want. And um, let's see, what else do we need? You also need a water, a jar of water, and you'll also need a medium paintbrush and a very small paintbrush. Just use whatever you have, but make sure it's a medium size and a small size. Okay, and, and I've got that too. Yeah, and you also need a pencil. A pencil and? You already have a pencil right oh. there. <laughs> and? And some paper towels. And last but not easy least, clean up. and last but not least, you will be needing a canvas. So here are two different types of canvases. This is a traditional canvas, which is fabric stretched around wood that has been primed. Primed means like it's been painted with a white type of paint that tightens the fabric so that it can stay stiff and you can paint on it easier and it's stapled onto a wooden frame. If you don't have one of these, you might have one of these. So this is a canvas panel and it's just just the same thing as this, but flat. And so it has the same stretched fabric on it. And then it's on the back of the like a piece of cardboard or something. Yeah, like a chipboard or something. Yeah. So those are the two things we recommend. If you don't have those, but you still wanna make this project, if you have a piece of poster board that you can cut, or you can even paint it on paper. It's just that acrylic paints are a little heavier than watercolors from paper. So, gather up your supplies. Before we start, we'll tell you a little bit more about the artist and maybe you'll have everything ready to go. So, this is Wayne Tebow's uh, cupcake. I'm going to do this design and teach you how to do it. And I am going to be this doing this cube shaped. Which is like a slice of cake. Ooh, it blushed and really. Oh, it didn't come out. <laughs> Which is like a slice of cake, or we thought maybe it's ooh, bless you, or maybe it's a cheesecake. Yes. Or something. So uh, she's gonna demonstrate that while I demonstrate this. We're gonna be moving pretty fast, and um, I'm gonna put this right over here 
so you can see that. And then Lily's gonna have hers over here. We'll turn that a little bit over here. There you go, let's angle it a little bit. Alrighty, so step one, we're going to take our pencil and we're gonna start drawing our composition. Our sketching, we're gonna be sketching. Yes. And if you don't, if you are a hard writer like me, you could start out with just sketching with your eraser first and then draw your lines over that and then erase the eraser crumbs. This keeps you from redrawing it a whole bunch of times dark. But yes. and having might, to yeah. erase it. But on, you might just go it. for it. Now yes. I'm gonna teach you how to do the cupcake. So I'll give instructions first, yes. then we'll pass it to Lily and we'll go back and forth so you can choose which you'd rather do. Alright? So to start, got our pencil ready and oh we need to decide are we gonna do if we have rectangles. Yeah. And you, the, my example was a square. Most people don't have a square canvas laying around. Are so, you gonna do it horizontal or? The, oh, that's horizontal. Horizontal <laughs> or? Oh no, no horizontal. Sorry. Uh, horizontal <laughs> or vertical? Are you doing landscape or portrait? That's another thing. Are you doing it hot dog or hamburger? You decide, but you decide if you're doing it tall or wide, okay? So I'm, what are you gonna do? I'm tall gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and do the cupcake tall. Okay, I'm gonna do my uh, cheesecake wide like in this picture. Yeah. That sounds great. Okay, <laughs> so the first step on mine, if you're doing the cupcake, listen up, because we're getting started. You're gonna go to the middle of your canvas and put your finger here and then you're gonna go just below it and give me a smile curve about three fingers wide. So you have a smile down there just below the center. And then you're going to make two sides to the smile and they can go straight up or they can come out just a little like that. Like now it looks like a, a U, a little bit like a U. Okay, I'm gonna take a break there. Lily, go ahead so and show me what you do. for your cheesecake, you're gonna be making a line in the right center, in the right in the middle of your canvas. Canvas, yes. And it's a vertical line. A vertical line, yes. Then you're gonna split the line in half right in the middle. In half, right here. From and there. From there, you're gonna, gonna go upwards a little. You're going across, but slightly upwards. So it's not all just straight. So it is wider than it is tall now. Let make sure, zoom that in a little. With our manual zoom, just like that, alrighty. So do you wanna show them the rest? And then I'll come back to the cupcake? Sure. Sure. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, oops, sorry. Oh, I just bumped your thing and got pencil all over it. It's okay. Okay. So. So now turn it around. There. Okay. So we're going to be doing the top part. So for your top part, you're going to be starting on the, the center line. And go the out. center line. And you're going to do the same thing as you did with your middle line. Except you're not going to go out as far. No. You're going to go in like a half a, like a half a centimeter. Okay, well it just depends on that. We, we usually don't use measurements. We say we compare it to things next to it because at home, I don't know what size of canvas you got, right? Yeah. And then you're gonna do the same thing to the bottom, but angle it. Make sure that the bottom part is a little pointed, you see, like that. Mm -hmm. It's kinda hard for me to draw upside down because I've never I done know. it before. So then you're gonna connect the sides. Now remember, the middle line on this sticks out the farthest. I'm gonna Let's stick this one out a little farther. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna cut, I'm kinda gonna clean up my lines. She's going to darken them so you can see farther away. While yeah. she's darkening, I'm going to go back to this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to draw the frosting of our cupcake. I'm taking my eraser mark. I'm going to make a big circle up here. And you're going to decide how much frosting do you want. I want mine to hang over a lot, so I'm going to stick it out in the sides a little. Now I drew that with my eraser crumbs. And once I decide if I like it, I'm only going to draw over the eraser crumbs that I like. Just like that, and then I'm gonna rub my eraser crumbs away. There you go. Now it looks like a muffin. Okay, Lily, hold that up and let's show them how to do the next part. Oh, okay. So now okay, turn we are gonna be connecting our little lines on the side. 
So, so you gotta make sure that that middle line is the widest one. So, but if you didn't make it long enough, just extend it a little bit. Yeah, because you don't want to go straight up. You want to slightly go out to that middle line. Yeah, you could be in. doing like a slight diagonal there. And then coming up from the bottom there. And then do the same thing here, going down. Yeah. So we make it look kind of like a cube. But kind of like a cube that's a little narrower on top. Yeah, so now what you're going to do, straight from the, the center line, and like two, two finger spaces, you're going to be making a dot. Then you're going to connect your lines on the sides towards that dot. Up there. And, and that's how you make the top, uh, the top side of the, of the yes. cake. Okay, so you take a break. That looks more round. Okay, hold that up to the viewers at home while I teach the next part, okay? Just hold it close to you. And then what you're gonna do here is, you're gonna decide if you want your frosting wavy like that. And go back over it. Then you're gonna add a few lines. The middle line is perfectly vertical, but the other lines kind of fan out and they start angling out as you go. So you wanna get that much. So hope we're making this easy for you at home because, you know, this can be easy, art should be fun. So there you are. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna draw where the shadow actually is next. So on this one, we're gonna have the shadow on the right and it angles up here and then it goes out and it makes the little puff shape and hides behind it. And we're gonna do the same thing to this one but we're gonna be doing it on, on this the left. Okay, so just like yeah, this. Left. You see the light? Yeah. Okay, this is oh. tricky. This shot is tricky. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start here and you're gonna go, let's make a dot like a, a finger space past the corner of this thing. And now we're gonna aim from here to here. Oh yeah, with that and one, sorry. Go, and now we're gonna go from here all the way to there. That one you're gonna kinda go horizontally. Yeah, okay, so go ahead and do that for them. So you're gonna go horizontal. And make the two meet right up. right here, and then down here, until it meets. And there's your shadow. If and you then, wanna remember that's a shadow, go ahead yeah. and shade it in with the And then pencil. you can also erase any extra lines you might have made too. Go ahead and give that a little shade and you'll remember it's your shadow. And we'll color that in a dark color. Maybe it's quick, it's, it doesn't need to be good because we're putting paint over that. We're putting dark color over and now you notice in all the Wayne Tebow paintings, his shadows are this like blue violet color. Yeah. And he Blush loves that color of his painting. Ah. Okay. So now we're gonna put a decoration on top. This one has a cherry on top, and this one also has a cherry on top. You can keep it a cherry or you but can make it. That cupcake has a heart candy yeah. on it. So, you, you, so you, you can do whatever you want. Yeah, I'm gonna make, I'll make the heart candy to be fun. But the heart candy is going to be the center of the top is actually in here, so I'm going to put it in here like this, a little cart, and I'm going to you know end up having a little bit of frosting that it's stuck into. But basically, I've got this heart and it's in it. But hers, hers, mine is a fluffy thing. Hers is flat and the angle is a little more forward instead of above. So her cherry is going to look like it's higher than the top edge. So go ahead and make that circle cross over the top point. So for your cherry. little cherry on your cheesecake, you're gonna make it go um, over your top point right yeah, here. Yeah, so go ahead and So we're circle. gonna start kind of towards, like a little bit higher than the middle of your top. We're gonna start there, and we're gonna make a circle until we go a little bit higher than the top. And we're gonna come around. Then you're gonna erase your line in the center. The best or, you can. Yeah, or you don't have to. So because you're it's just gonna painted over get painted over. But I, I, I'd rather just erase. So now it. we've drawn, drawn both shapes. That's, yes. Now the tough part is the plate. Now the plates are different. So on this one over here, the plate is like your, your eye is really low towards the plate. On this one, it's like your eye is more above because the plate is more circular. Here, it's more oval shaped. 
So I'm gonna do mine first and show you. Now take that eraser again, because it's a good way to practice. And I'm gonna go, oh, well, actually, go to the side of the frosting and make a little mark, and go to the other side of the frosting and make a mark. Yes. Now on yours, and for this one, go to the you're bottom gonna layer. do it kind of right above here. Right above where the shadow. Your shadow is. So probably like a finger space above the shadow. Then. Okay, don't go away. Go ahead, just make a guideline. Oh, and then make sorry. a guideline here. Yeah, it's okay. And then, okay, then you're gonna use your what's eraser. What's you gonna do? So you, if you, so you don't make too many mistakes, so you can experiment with what your shapes are gonna be. You can make. You're gonna be making an you're outline really gonna, with. That's a really good circle. one. But so for the cheesecake, you're gonna be making a thinner plate or a thinner line for the plate. I think. But that, for the cupcake, you're gonna be making it one. thicker. So once you do get your, your razor crumbs, you like them, draw on top of them. Yes. For me, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around and I'm making a rounder one because I'm more of an overhead view. So I'm gonna go like this and go all the way around like that. And once I decide if I like it, let me give it a really good look. Pretty good. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw, draw that and I'm gonna rub out all my razor crumbs. So go ahead and draw that circle. It's it's only part of a circle because the rest of it's hidden behind circle the Circle or oval. Or oval. Nice oval, Lily. The ovals are harder. Okay. So now, now on the oval, you're gonna make the thickness of the plate by taking a vertical line down off each uh, right and left edge. Right here, watch this. Oh. <laughs> and then do sorry. that on the other side. Oh, sorry. So you have two vertical lines. That means it goes straight up and down. Then you're gonna make a repetitive line, or you're gonna mimic the line above it. Yep, that means and you're gonna it. be making it this thick. Yes, yeah, so go ahead. Now on this one, it's a little more overhead, so it's gonna appear thinner when it starts and get a little thicker. And at if the you bottom. don't, and if you don't wanna be, if you don't wanna go right away with the pencil on this one, then you can do the same thing that yeah. you did for your plate and do your eraser first. Yeah. So I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna go around, make it thinner and thinner and thinner. So there we've got the plate. And that is all the drawing we need to do, except I'd love for you to write your name on the back, like this. And then I'd love for you to write today's date. Well, the today, the actual day uh, is going to be 032720. And then, but you know, if you're doing this video weeks from now and you find us, it, this isn't gonna be your date. You just draw whatever date you made your art. And then, so that you can look, so that when you're older, you can look back and at all of your art that you made from us, and you can see when you made it. <coughs> you can also write who the inspiration was. So I write inspired by, and I'm going to show you how to write Wayne Tebow's name. It's a French name, so it's T. Let's let me see. T H. Oh my gosh, is it T-H-I-E, T-H-I-E, <laughs> and it's B-A-U-T. You don't say the end of a word if it's a consonant and it's French. Yeah, you, so don't, it say, like, you don't say Theobald. It looks like Theobald, but it's really t -bo. Yeah. Like, take it a sip a of tea and then a, put your bow on. It has a silent H and it has a silent D. Yeah. Yeah. So there you are. If you want to add that to yours, take a look at this for a minute while we get. Uh, you can take a screenshot of it if you want. <laughs> Whatever. For later. And it's also in the description. So now we're done with the pencil. So go ahead and set that aside. And now we're going to get our palettes ready with our paints. So we're going to take every color, but the color we need the most is white. So I'm gonna put white right in the middle of our palettes. Cool. Make sure I get all the eraser crumbs out. You're gonna need the most 
white, but all the other colors you don't need that much of. And also, a little goes a long way, so yeah, for the rest so of the while, colors you don't need. So much. While, while I'm squeezing out the palettes, uh, hmm. I will tell you a little bit about Wayne Tubo. Okay, tell us about it. So, Wayne Tubo is. Uh, a paint, an American painter. It's an American painter. He lives in, well, he he has a house in Laguna Beach. He, well, he, it says he lives there part-time. Yeah, he lives there part-time. It part didn't time. say where he lives there at the time. But, and, um, um, what else? And um, he is 99 years old. He's wow. the oldest artist we know. That's still making art all the yes. time. He's older than Kusama yeah. yesterday. And um, he's known for his desserts. But he has done other things. And, oh, oh, you can show him this picture. That was the inspiration of our backdrop. Yes, this is the inspiration of our backdrop. This thing. And it's a case, and you know what? He paints sometimes from still life, but yes. mostly he paints from memory. And he remembers when he was a kid looking inside of pastry uh, shop windows and how they presented all the pastry so pretty. And he and the colors and, and he and just he loved that. Yes. Yeah. So um, you know, some people paint from memory, and to do that, you got to build your skills, and that's what we're doing every time we see you guys, or every time you see us. So we've got a few more colors to go. We've got a dark purple. What color am I forgetting, Lily? Oh, the uh, pink. Okay, I'll yeah, do the pink. Purple. Purple. We need all the colors in that palette. Okay. That okay, so what here. color have I forgot? Um, well, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Plus another. Eleven. Oh, wait, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You've got them you all. You have not missed a Okay, color. so remove Now this kind of looks like a Bob Ross palette. Yes, so our palette Bob looks Ross. a little like this, okay? If you know who Bob Ross is. He's the Happy Little Trees guy. Okay. No, it's Happy Little Accidents. Oh, Happy Little Accidents and Happy Trees too. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we are gonna start with our big brush. And make sure you have those paper towels to wipe with if you need to. And um, what are we gonna do first? Um, we are gonna do the cupcake base. You can do the base of your cheesecake. Yeah. Okay. Or like the crumb part of it. If you can crumb hold this up as you paint, yes, that would I be can. awesome. Yes, I can. Okay. No, I mean turn around. Yeah, I can. Okay. So there we go. So what we're gonna do is paint our base. So I like my cupcake paper to have a lot of white in it. So I'm first painting it white. You're gonna make half of your cupcake or your cheesecake. Um, darker than the other The half. light color where the sun is coming in from, and then your dark half where your shadow is. So right. I'm gonna make um, my light on this side, and then I'm gonna go kind of orangey-ish on this side. But see, when it gets to the front, it kind of fades. So it goes lighter orange until it just gets to nothing. So it goes dark here. And for mine, I'm gonna be doing white and yellow. If you get your colors too dark, just add a little bit of white to it. And if you want it darker, just add a little dark, darker paint, you know, another layer of paint to it. Okay. So that's your lighter side, and you're gonna add some yellow to that. Okay, so Lily filled that shape in that uh, cheesecake up with white before she added the yellow so that it blended really cool, and it was a little bit lighter yellow. Mm-hmm. Okay, so Lily, on the other side, it's, so it's a darker version side, of yellow. I'm going to do yellow. But then she's going to add a darker color on top of it yes. to get it to yes. appear darker. Yes, yes. Okay, looking good. So go and ahead. it's okay if other colors accidentally okay. blend with your other colors. It, yeah. it all looks the same style. Yes, and one of the things of his style is that his brush strokes show in his painting. Yes. And you can see those. You can see where colors mix on the canvas. So for my dark color that I'm mixing in with it is going to be orange. So I put a few dots of orange in it. Then I wipe out my brush as much as I can. Then I just blend it in with the yellow. And make sure the entire area is blended. 
Yes. And Try not great. to leave out any parts. That looks great. Okay, so on mine, we're just leaving it like that. Now I'm gonna go to the top part of mine. I'll do mine first, is that right? Cool. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna do my frosting, and I'm gonna do it yellow with some shadows. Well, first I'm gonna fill it in with white. Ooh, I still had some orange still like in my hey, paper. Hey, that's, that's okay. okay, that's the style of this Wayne's art. Hero. Okay, so I've got this, then I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow. So I add the yellow, and I don't want it so even. I want it kind of like curvy, because my frosting's gonna be fluffy, okay? So I'm fluffing it up, and I keep going like that. You're gonna make it look like I, it's I the texture. I don't want to. Without adding any texture. I don't want to uh, mess up my decoration here. So I've got that, and then I'm gonna have some lighter areas. So I'm gonna add some white and fluff it up a little. Some little smile curves, and I'm gonna add a shadow. So my shadow, I'm gonna make it lime green, and I'm only gonna mix it into this so it's really light. So I'm just going like this, over to this side, because this is my shadier side on the right. That's where my shadow is. Yep. Okay, so Lily, go for so it. So now for mine, for my top, I'm gonna to do white. So it might seem kind of weird to you that I'm doing white on white, but it still at gets the a end, it will be kind of cool, because if you have some paint left on your brush like me, oh. it'll kind of be hold like it. a dirty white. Let me hold it. I got it. It's I know fine. It. the camera can't see it. Oh, oh no, no, yeah, like this. I'll hold it like this. I got it. Off to the side. Yeah, there you go. Now we can see it better. Yeah. Kind of like I'm reading a storybook to you. Yeah, something. exactly. Yay. <laughs> so what I'm going to do for my dark side, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do white. And then I'm going to do the same thing that I did for, with my bottom. I'm going to add um, a darker color on top of it. So, here I'll add a bit more white. Now I'm going to add a few. I'm going to wipe out my brush. It's kind of like a little. dirty yellow. Yeah. It's kind of like yellow with a touch of purple mixed in it. It's white. No, this, this side. This oh. Side. It's like yellow. With yeah, cool. Really cool, really cool. So, First I'm gonna yellow. do some yellow. yellow? Yeah. We already did no, yellow. <laughs> adding to that dark top side. Oh, okay. I'll do a little blue and then maybe yellow, whatever. Okay, go So, for it. Uh, I'll do some blue Don't to, make, it. to get the dark in there. I'll tap it out a little. I'll do a little bit of blue. Okay. Wipe out my brush as much as I can. Okay. So there's my dark part, and I'll add a tad bit of yellow, but not too much, oh so that it overpowers it. A little more than that. I think it's good. So I don't want to overpower the blue. Okay, so she's got. But yes, it does. It does overpower yeah. it. So she, much. but it's perfect. So she's got her shadowy side. And now she needs her top, and the top is got a lot of light on it, so it's gonna be the clean, pure white. So go ahead and rinse out your brush first. Don't, don't add any more. You're good. You're good. I'll add more at the very end. Okay, if you, you need to. You can touch up Jessica. some of your things at the very end if you don't like how it looked like at the beginning. And then you change your mind or whatever. Okay, so now the top. So I'm gonna be doing the white like I did on the other part. And I'm gonna do it half of it just plain white, and then half of it the dirty yellow white. No. Let me take a peek at this. Look. Oh wow! See? There you go. Yeah, so it's just plain white. So you yeah, just, just leave, leave it. it. Like it's that. good. It looks great. Okay. Yeah. Next we're going to do the decoration on top. So I'm gonna show how to do the heart and she'll show how to do the cherry. Yes. So we're ta I'm taking red for mine. And then I just fill it in like this. And I want to have it lighter on top, so I'm going to take a little bit of white, just to tip, dip the tip of it, and then do that. But that's like super bright highlight. First, I'm just going to rub it in like this. And then the bottom part, I wanted a little darker red, so I'm going to take a little purple and mix it with red and get a burgundy. And then that's going to be towards my bottom. Also, Still a little wet to blend, so I'm just going to go for straight purple. 
There you go. So now my heart looks a little darker at the bottom, a little lighter on top. Okay, and then I have some white still peeking through on my frosting right here, so I can add a little bit of yellow here. Okay, Lily, go ahead. Oh, and also, do your cherry. if your um, napkin gets, or paper towel gets really dirty like mine, you can just get a new paper towel. Okay, go for it, Lily. So, so for, the, for the cherry, you're gonna do the exact same thing that you did but with, with your the small heart. Brush. But with your small brush, of course, of course, because it's a smaller area. <laughs> so you can just do the same thing, circle. Make sure you keep that tip of your paintbrush. Cool. Let's smash it down. Okay. Okay, so that's great. Now you can add oh. your little okay. dark piece. Now, if you get a spider brush, let me show you a tip, Lily, and the audience at home. Oh, yay! High energy, girl. Okay, if you do that, then you're gonna twirl your paintbrush after you rinse the paint out of it, and now you've got your point back. Cool. So you also, if you really want a highlight on yours, you're gonna take a bit, a little bit of white, and you're gonna do it on your light side. Right there. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna add. I forgot. I want to add a highlight on mine too. Yeah. I'm hearing a lot of sounds. I'm not sure if they're coming in. I hear an airplane, and I hear like an animal. Do you Whoa. hear that? Yeah. I feel like there's a bird on a roof squawking or something. So now for your dark color, you can make like a burgundy color. So with like a dark blue and dark red. Make sure you get a nice red. point, so twirl it out. Yeah, I already did that. Uh, so you can make your dark red, you're gonna make your red and your blue together. If it gets too dark, then you can always add more red. Or if it's too light, you can always add more blue. And then show them how to add the shadow, or the, the, the shading of that cherry. Well, you do the same thing. You do it on the bottom, but on your side, your dark side. The shady side. side. Yeah. Okay, that's easy. Same oh, thing. Oh, nice. Okay, now we're gonna move on. Now, if you have these, um, you know, the, the cupcake, you need some little lines in the papers. So pick a darker color. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna mix it with a little blue and I'm gonna put some lines in, in here. Just like that. So I've added those in, adding the little lines, okay? If you want those to have a highlight on them, you can do this, but it's a little more advanced. One side looks a little lighter. Okay, so next, what we're gonna do is our plate. So the plates, I'm gonna keep my plate white because I'm gonna be adding um, a little shadow to it and some uh, of the bright colors to the edges. And so I'll do the same thing okay. too, I'll keep it white. <laughs> yeah, so don't, don't paint your shadow area. Go ahead and just go for the white. And you're gonna do it with your big brush, because it's a big area. Yeah, big area, big brush. And do that quick because you want it yes. to stay wet. Oh, and also, uh, follow the shape of your plate, too. Oh, and don't, for, and don't, um, don't color over your, shadow. don't paint over your shadow. Alright, okay, a few more dips. White. That looks great. Now don't okay, worry cool. if it's kind of kind of got other colors running through it. Yay! Okay, so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a bright colored edge of our plate or a colored edge. Now the one thing that Wayne Tebow did is he had all these colors. He has a lot of colors in his painting, even though far away it looks like it's mostly white. So he has these like edge colors. Those he referred to as halos. And what did he call uh, halonation, or what did he call it? Halonation. Halation. Halation. That's what he referred to of all his uh, bright colored you know, outlines. But we're gonna add a bright colored edge 
to our thing. So I think I'll do like this. I'll pick the orange. So I start here, remember it starts out skinny so I don't push my brush down so far. And then I start pushing it down farther because it gets wider, like this. And I take it all around. And because mine is a, is a smaller space, um, I'm gonna do mine with my skinny brush. Okay. And you can do it with whatever color you want. Okay. So I'm gonna go in with this light blue. Okie doke. Now, when you use a smaller brush, you run out of paint quicker, but you can always re-dip quick. Or you can just make a big dip on your brush and make a big, like, blob or whatever. And then push that blob around? Yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> That's what all people do, right? <laughs> yep. So the next thing we're gonna do is our shadow. So the shadow, you're gonna, oh, you know what I forgot to tell you guys before the shadow? If we're moving too quick for you, you can always pause this video because this isn't one of our live streams today. Today, this is a pre-recorded. So you can pause it anytime if we're moving too fast. So next, we're going to be doing shadows. Now, the thing with Wayne Tebow is he, he almost always had these blue-violet shadows. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix some blue with some purple. Your dark blue with your dark purple, to be exact. Ooh, I, like it the, I like the light blue and the purple. But that's just me, because I don't want it to be so dark. And then I'm going to my shadow area and I'm gonna add that color. But you know, my paintbrush was pretty dirty. I gotta get it cleaned out. Okay, let me try that again and get a really good blue purple. So I mix the blue and I mix the purple and I got this color, there we go. And I'm doing that shadow that I drew earlier. I'm taking it all the way up to my cupcake and all the way to the edge like that. And it can be kind of streaky. And now you see my shadow. That looks great. Also, if you have like a blob of paint you forgot to paint with or whatever on your uh, canvas, you could just go over the thing that you Painted with it. Okay, so now we're doing <laughs> the background and we're saving those fine line halos for last. So my background, and I'm gonna advise all of you guys to do this, so it's very Wayne Tebow looking, is you can do it all white, like with kind of some dirty streaks in it, or you can do it all white and add a touch of another color. So I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go white, and then I'm gonna add a touch of another color. And I'm gonna use a color that I haven't used so much, so it has a variety of colors. So first, I paint my background with this white. And my paintbrush isn't perfectly clean, so it's getting some really cool streaks. And I want to go over my pencil marks if they show. I, I don't want those to show up later. Okay, so I'm just painting it all with my big brush. We're getting that big brush going, and then... And you're gonna make, and you wanna make sure that your paint is still wet when you do this. Yeah, it's when you really when you do the background mixing or tinting, I guess we would say, because you're having a color and you're adding a touch of another color. So I actually already have mine painted in the background. So now I'm gonna pick one color to tint with. I've used almost every color. I can I'm either gonna use that turquoise color or pink. I think I'm gonna do turquoise. pink. Okay, then I'm gonna do turquoise. So I take this little bit of this turquoise color, I'm gonna add a few dots of it while this is wet. You can only, it only works if it's wet. And then I'm gonna blend it in and it's gonna be a real pastel turquoise. It's gonna have a really cool look to it like this. And remember to get every single part of your painting with that tint of color. Oh, every part of your background. Or, your yeah. And get in the corners of your cupcake or cheesecake while doing that too. Yeah. So mine's becoming, and I'm gonna do a few dots on the bottom. And now I'm gonna blend those in. And we're looking pretty good. Okay. So I think mine's on its way. Now, to get that final Wayne Tebow touch, we're gonna be adding 
those really thin, bright colored outlines. We've got all these colors, and I want you to use every one of them somewhere on an outline. So rinse out your big brush, or just leave it soaking, because we don't even need it anymore. Will you almost have yours? Yeah. And then what did oh, you say? You're going to tint it with pink? yellow on it. It's all right. A little yellow. It actually got okay, so much. if you overdo it, you just take your your uh, a paper towel. I'll show you what you can do. Here's a tip: you take a paper towel like this and you just wipe it. And you Ooh, get rid of it cool. off. And then I'll do it again here. But now you need some more clean white. Yep. You can also wipe out your brush as much as you can. Yeah. Oh, I need more white. Yeah. Here, I'll let me get you some white. Cool. Okay, well, hopefully you're having fun at home. You haven't, like, spilt your water or dropped your paintbrush on the ground. Yeah. You're in control. It's all going good. Good. Oh. Splattering. Okay. Because a little got in your hair. Yay. <laughs> Okay, so now go ahead and add your touch of pink so we can move on. Oh, just a touch in it, little dots. Dot there, dot there, dot there. Okay. And now she's gonna blend in that color and kind of tint that white in the background. All right. Looking good. more paint in there. Now the next part, to me, is my favorite part. It's where we go in with the skinny paintbrush. So this is tough if you're young. Just keep that paintbrush pointed and skinny. The trick is, you know, get all the paint out of it, roll it around so that it gets, comes to a point the best you can. Then when you dip it in the paint, you only want paint on the tip of the bristles and you don't want to push too hard down. So. I'm gonna pick an area. Now you see here, all these different areas have outlines. So I'm gonna take, first I'm gonna start with the darkest color and I'm gonna do a little dark outline over here by my little heart that's tucked in to the frosting. Then I'm gonna pick any colors I want and I'm going, maybe I'm gonna take green and I'm gonna go around the outside edge. And it's okay if um, other colors blended with it just the style of the eye. Yep, yeah, and the thing is that you want to add these colors. They make this uh, still life pop out of this, you know, pastel background. So I'm going around with green, but I'm going to switch up my color from there. I was green, now I'm going to go purple. Go to purple. And then I'm going to edge the other part. Maybe I'm going to use red over here. Now, if you, you want to make long, skinny strokes, like you're petting the canvas. And this, um, You don't want to make part, little teeny brush strokes. Yeah, so this part is kind of hard for those who uh, are, like... What? For, the, like for the those people who are, like, uh, who for this, uh, who doing this is, like, difficult for them. So you might want to take your time. Yeah, and you might want to... Not go all the way around your cherry, just the bottom part. Yeah. No, totally not. Here, take a peek. You can always add white to it. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah. You can you can always go back over an area that you might want to adjust because acrylics will cover acrylics if they're dry enough. Unlike watercolors, they're kind of translucent. And if you go over another color, it's kind of hard to like cover it fully. So take a look. So far I've gone above and below that edge of my plate. And I've done the heart. Now I'm gonna go around my cupcake. Hmm, I think I'll do this bright orange and I'll change it to purple. Go up here. Now I'm gonna add some greens. I haven't used dark green yet. So I'm gonna outline with a little dark green here on my frosting. It sounds crazy, but it looks really cool. And then I'm gonna switch that color to blue. See, this really gives it the pop. Then I'm gonna get purple again. It's like I'm drawing a rainbow, you know, rope or string or something. And I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go 
all the way around it. This is good because this one shows up right near the shadow. See like that? And then if I look at Wayne Tebow's, right on the shaded side where the frosting is, there's a few more skinny outlines. So I'm gonna add a few more outlines right in here on the frosting. Just like that. And then, let's see if I can get a few more. Peek. And then, I just realized, like the cherry there, I forgot to put a little shadow by my heart. So I'm gonna get some of that blue-violet, and I'm gonna give myself a shadow over here. Just like that. And I think, now I'm gonna take a look at it and see if there's anything else I'd like to change. But otherwise, I think mine's getting really close to being done. How's yours, Lily? That's good. Just fixing this part up here. Looks great. So now you just all you need are oh, skinny yeah, lines. Oh yeah, you do the skinny lines right she here. She needs skinny lines. She needs her skinny lines near her, um, all over her piece of cheesecake, all over her edges, like yeah. her corners and sides. So oh, I already keep did it. A green that's all right. Line. You can do it. Keep oh, it skinny. Cool. This this image he used the blue violet and orange. Yeah. And I'm not sure about that. Okay, so do what you, I'm gonna make do it your something own. totally different. Okay, make it your own, but keep it skinny. That's the hard part. Barely touch your face. Oh, nice. Okay. Can do that edge right there. Then I'll do something on the top of this edge. You can go two sections with that. Go all the way to the bottom of that. I think I'm good. You got some other things okay, in mind? Okay. Ooh, that's a fat paintbrush, girl. <laughs> do you want to borrow my skinny brush? No, it's it's okay. your style. You can do whatever you want. Okay. I think I'm good. Okay. Um, what about uh, a little bit to define that line right there between the two? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I totally forgot. Oh, shoot. That's the back. Ooh, you <laughs> a skinny line that way. Yeah, maybe. Ugh. Just where the two white sections meet. Oh, that's a nice skinny line. I like that. Nice. That's great. That's great. So we're all done. So let's take a look. What do you think? So we've got the cupcake, and we've got the piece of what we think is cheesecake, but it could be some other kind of cake. And we've got our, you know, pastel background. We've got our shadow, and we've got our little, what Thibaut calls the little halos. And you know what? I think we did it. I think it's pretty awesome. Now, I would love to see how yours turned out. So if you can, snap a photo of it, or even a photo of you holding it, or a photo of where it's, you know, displayed in your house, whatever you'd like to do. And if you want us to see it and we can, um, you know, send you a, a reply or a comment back, do it to our Instagram page. And that is, um, our Instagram is at Art Classes for Kids. And wish, we wish you could send them to our YouTube channel, but since we, our audience is 13 and younger, we do not take comments on our channel. And that is something that they just started with YouTube. So um, we also, will, you can just share it on our Facebook page, which is Art Classes for Kids Las Vegas, which is where we're from, and um, on Facebook. And, uh, or you could send it to my email, which is kim at artclassesforkids.com. Now, all those little tags will be at the very end of the video. And um, we um, plan on telling you what the projects for next week are in a separate little short video. So look for that on our YouTube channel. And what should they do to keep watching? You should also like, subscribe, and click the notifications button so you can know so we so you know when all of our other videos are coming out yeah and keep joining us we love ha having you make our cool projects and what, what how do we end it keep, keep making, making cool, cool art, art.